My guitar player, Corey Hickok, and I decided that the rock and roll band we formed wasn't going to get any further. We called this bass player by the name of Robert DeLeo, who we met at shows that we used to play. And he would get up on stage and, and play a song with us. So we formed a band with Robert DeLeo and then started auditioning drummers and we found Eric Kretz. And that was the first version of what Mighty Joe Young would be, which later had changed the name to STP. But those days, Robert had his own studio in one of the bedrooms in his apartment. And we would write songs and record songs and play shows up in LA. And we got to a point where I took a couple of years off of college. My parents gave me their grace. I decided I was gonna go for it full, full on. I watched certain performers, like old film of like David Bowie, Jane's Addiction, and saw that front men like that were artists in the studio, but also performance artists when they played on stage. I wanted to have that kind of dynamic. I wanted to be a performance artist, and I wanted to really own the stage. Being the shoegazer wasn't my thing. I wanted to be a whirling dervish. I think that one goal that I always had, and lucky enough it worked out with STP, was every album we changed our sound using different amps, like old vintage small amps, instead of Dean's live rig. We also progressed in the songwriting too. I mean, if you listen to Purple compared to Core, there's a, a, a different sound. The real jump was Tiny Music. We approached it, the songs, uh, in a real experimental kind of way. A lot of the songs were really vibey. It had a more of a garage kind of sound to it. Big Bang Baby, we had Eric record the drums outside on the grass in the lawn to get that just kind of dry sound. It was a huge house and the, the foyer, the ceilings were about 35 feet high. We set Dean's amp in the middle of that and put mics probably about 15, 20 feet away and just got a natural reverb that sounded just incredible. And so we just experimented a lot and we had a great producer in Brendan O'Brien.